Welcome to my new blog post, blog post 12. And in this blog post, I'm going to discuss about ECH or entities conceptual hierarchy. So let's start. So basically, when we talk about ECH or entities conceptual hierarchical manner, it means that ER model has the power of expressing database entities in a conceptual hierarchical. And as the hierarchy goes up, it generalizes the view of entities and as we go deep in the hierarchy, it gives us the detail of every entity that is actually included. When I, when I say that going up into the structure, it means uh, generalization where we are actually clubbed, uh, we actually clubbed, uh, uh, clubbed together the uh, entities into more generalized view. For example, a particular student name, which has a name like uh, Mira can be generalized along with uh, with all other students, and the entity shall be a student, and further the student is a person. So the reverse is called the spe specialization, where a person is a student and that student is a Mira. So basically, uh, this is a, uh, one approach is like bottom up approach, and second one is like top to bottom. So when I, I talk about uh, generalization, the, it is actually the process of generalizing entities where the generalized entities contain the properties of all the generalized entities. It is called the generalization when I talk about generalization. In future blocks, I'm going to discuss more about the generalization. So, but, um, so as a basic understanding in generalization, a number of entities are brought together into one generalized entity based on their similar characteristics. For example, when I talk about birds, uh, so I know if I have a bird, so what kind of a bird it is, is it, is it a pigeon, is it a sparrow, is it a dove? So it's a kind of bird, is it kind of like, uh, it can be generalized into a bird and then it has a property name or attribute name, pigeon, sparrow, or some or dove or any uh, as a bird. When I talk about specialization, specialization is basically totally opposite to the generalization. In generalization, a group of entities is divided into subgroup, and based on their characteristics, they get group like, for example, a person. For example, a person has a name, date of birth, gender, etc. These properties are common in all other persons, human beings, but in a company, person can be identified as a employee, employer, customer, or vendor, or manager, based on what role actually they play in the company. So, uh, I, I, when I talk about specialization, is I am talking about like a person can be specialized into more entity entities as well. So similarly, in school database, persons can be specialized as teachers, students, or staff based on what they wrote they play in school as entities. So uh, with this, I actually conclude my ECH.